Uh, hi, Dr. Saxena here, and uh, I'm going to talk about something of uh, simple things which uh, denote a lot of uh, when we look at the face of the patient and someone having that particular sign. This can be as simple as something like dark skin, darkness uh, around the eyeball, uh, particularly in the lower margins and all that. And that uh, in, in this medial side is quite prominent. And uh, what is being said about this thing is this is. Uh, or some people will have the baggy eyelids. Uh, so, uh, what are we, uh, how to get rid of this bags under the eye, or how to get rid of this particular uh, black circles around the eye? See, this is, what we call it medically, it's called periorbital hyperchromia, or dark circles under the eye, and is a common dermatological condition which can affect the person's self confidence because it may make them appear tired. It's a normal thing to happen and this is no major things associated with that. I try to work on some things like toxicity and all that, but I can always see the kind of pigmentation if it is just involving the lower end or is it going to the periorbital melanosis or it's a kind of un uh, the eye baggy eyelids uh, with, a, uh, with a lower lid bluish coloration sometimes with a vascular type or it's a brownish or black hyperpigmentation. So based on this eyelids, see you need to understand eyelid is the thinnest part of the body. Uh, skin, eyelid skin is the thinnest of all the body parts, particularly in the lower medial eyelid and uh, which is uh, has the lowest dermal to epidermal ratio. This is where the fat accumulates through time resulting in development of backs under the eye. And backs under the eye, we used to think that it is something people are um, having that. We used to feel that they are not getting uh, too little sleep. That was the concept we used to think before that. Uh, but when we looked into uh, the facts, it was not that uh, sleep deprivation. Uh, it's basically dark circles are caused by multiple etiological factors including dermal melanin deposition, you have got post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, you have got secondary to atopic or allergic uh, uh, contact. Uh, it can be allergy to any of your, uh, it can be basic. Uh, what I have seen commonly is people with uh, apple, people with a lot of, uh, 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 we call it as a phenolic foods. And uh, the people who had bridge all the uh, tomatoes and this apple and all that, they usually get into that. And there is uh, another uh, part of that is it's called sometimes like a post orbit inflammatory hyperpigmentation because of this atopic uh, uh, dermatitis. And you have got something like periorbital edema, and um, uh, because but uh, we want to as a medical uh, uh, thing professionals, we would like to rule out any hypertension any renal cause, any other thing. And the last thing we'd like to understand is, yes, is it due to because of your atopic allergy or something like that. So, um, so what are the things you can do? Um, uh, see, uh, I can always tell you, even the stress also can contribute to the development of these dark circles. Uh, uh, see, uh, according to this, uh, whatever we have read, uh, uh, puffy eyes can be a symptom of water or kidney imbalance, and um, um, uh, dark backs and may dark backs under the skin may imply a lot of allergies. So this is uh, have been uh, uh, put across by various kind of things, and uh, we believe yes, we, we have a sometimes they will have a overlap. Uh, you will have a kidney problem as well as this particular thing. But once we get that kind of thing I would like to see that the uh, I do a thorough checkup I would like to see what is the toxicity levels what is the kind of uh, allergies and all that what the person is having uh, so uh, after that we I ask them to go for some conventional treatments usually it can be topical medications uh, surgeries and chemical peels and laser treatments also are usually cosmetic in nature and uh, I would like to move, move to the most easy things which you can use uh, uh, topical remedies uh, which can usually you can try to moisturize your face uh, well moisturize and around the eyes or use all natural moisturizers uh, which is something like pure uh, coconut oil also you can always apply you have got you can use something like ginseng 
you, you can always uh, opt for eye creams uh, with coffee extracts uh, that also can help you um, and uh, you can always wear glasses and use safe sunscreens and all so that that also causes a, a difference and uh, um, when we when we scrub our face with vigorous kind of thing there will be a break of blood vessels which versus the bags under the eyelids so whenever you try to wash or something like that you have to when you remove your makeup you need to be very gentle while removing things and all that even the face wash people try to rub like that soap and all that that's really a nasty thing which can cause um, a thing. and what are the changes you can do are you can uh, you, i we always ask patient to take a lot of water um, uh, and stay uh, that's a, the number one thing prerequisite what is the uh, amount of water which is uh, uh, based on person to person what is uh, yeah, adequate water intake uh, see that your color of the urine should be as water and if your color of urine is yellow or it's darker uh, then you are definitely under hydrated uh, so you need to um, look at this particular things and you can always decide how but yes sometimes you need a urine examination also you need to work it out if there is some pathological thing this is general things what I am trying to put across um, uh, uh, the second most thing which I would like to change in the diet is avoid that uh, salt in uh, from your diet because sodium helps in sodium uh, helps in fluid retention and cutting down uh, salt intake in at night uh, can improve your uh, appearance in the morning and uh, we try to w work on a lot of things uh, avoiding of alcohol uh, consuming a lot of fruits and all that which can be higher contents of vitamin C and you have got some retinol um, uh, kind of stuff uh, vitamin A supplements also would like to uh, add by just adding something X to your diet or something like that uh, so when we are talking about this particular stuff which how you can always reduce that baggy eyelids as well as that uh, thing we have been talking about how to avoid that uh, I, I would like to rule out any hypertension rule out any renal problems and all that and I'd like to work on something uh, see that the person starts drinking properly water uh, we had already uh, showed you how we can work it out avoidance of the salty food is very important apart from that if you can always take something like cheese and all that which are rich in vitamin A or um, uh, eggs pastured eggs and all that that's going to be very good and uh, consume vitamin C rich food vitamin C there is a 2009 study which showed uh, vitamin C from ascorbate uh, lotion can thicken the dermis uh, skin of the lower eyelids the, the, so uh, the dark coloration is significantly diminished when the uh, dermis is th has taken uh, you can reduce the uh, appearance of the backs and the eyes by using something like foods which are rich in vitamin C which is mango uh, usually season fruits mango papaya pineapple uh, watermelon you have got broccoli you have got a lot of uh, things as such so these are the things and if you have got some allergy component to any poor thing i know a lot of people have got allergies to pineapple allergies to tomatoes so you they need to be careful not to indulge into that particular stuff um, uh, there are there are some things which can be done when you go for a sleep you can always uh, see that sleeping on one side or sleeping with the on your belly which is called proning what we call and uh, it has uh, suddenly because of this pandemic everyone is talking about this proning posture this helps um, this type of thing while proning it helps in the um, uh, there is a no build up of blood and the fluid to the face uh, so effectively the, uh, to avoid that morning puffiness what you can do is start lying down prone uh, that, that, ma that makes a quite sensible approach uh, apart from the other things what we have suggested uh, you can add an extra pillow in your bed um, so that what happens is that your head is slightly at a higher tilt so that whatever things are there is draining properly down uh, yes needless to say uh, you need to work on this uh, you can't uh, you have to deal with your allergies and you have you need to have enough uh, sleep as such uh, when you are working on this particular at least nine hours of sleep is very very important um, so 
I'd like to um, uh, definitely th see that this is um, these things are practical. Uh, you, you, allergies basically are one important thing. I believe allergies are because of something like wheat, coffee. Um, you have got egg, you have got soya, or you have got something like uh, uh, chocolate. These are the things. I have seen a lot of people with dark circles uh, uh, getting exacerbated, uh, which is increased by once they start consuming chocolate. So the chocolate should also be avoided uh, as far as uh, my uh, uh, take goes. We have seen a lot of people getting into that after they uh, eating a chocolate um, and uh, you can what you, else you can do is you can avoid rubbing your eyes um, uh, frequent rubbing of the eyes may cause that aggravate the appearance of the dark circles uh, because this is uh, people trying to uh, vigorously uh, uh, rub the eyes and all that so uh, some other things which you can help uh, which is called home remedies uh, you can always put something like cucumber over the eyes. This is one thing which you go for a beauty parlor or something like that. Cucumber is a very good remedy. You need to see that you need to put that chilled cucumber slices for not less than 25 minutes. And um, uh, they, you can always put a cold spoon. Um, is the uh, see under bag uh, eye treatments for the convenient things. Most convenient is a cold spoon or. Um, to slow down the blood vessels, this is being always, uh, or you can always go for the cold compress, compress, uh, placing a cold compress over the eyes, reduce the swelling of the blood vessels, and uh, ice cold face uh, towel uh, over your eyes for 15 minutes. It will be a very good idea. You can go for it. Um, this is uh, applying beaten egg whites over the uh, kind of thing. Uh, leaving egg whites on your skin for 20 minutes can help you whiten, uh, tighten the skin uh, and you have some uh, estrogen properties also. Uh, people have used different stuffs. I can always tell you uh, something like potato juice or tomato juice and um, cotton ball soaked with the potato juice kept over that for 10 minutes uh, helps as such. Uh, you have got something like avocado, you have got something like lemon juice, you have got caffeinated tea um, uh, or you can do one thing with the caffeinated tea, cold tea bags um, and known to help slowing down skin aging. Uh, cold tea bags are important thing. If you have got spray tea bags, soak them first in warm water then place inside the refrigerator to chill. After placing the tea bags over ice for 5 minutes. Uh, this is the kind of thing we should always try. Soak them in warm water first, then into your refrigerator chill, then you uh, apply for at least for five minutes. And uh, see, these are the simple uh, kind of stuffs which I believe uh, can help. Apart from that, there are some essential oils which uh, uh, help under eye bag uh, this particular stuff. And uh, this uh, one of the most important thing is lavender essential oil. There's something like aloe vera gel. You have uh, something like chamomile and this lavender and chamomile has got good uh, uh, things. So you can always mix with the aloe vera gel and you can clean your face and you can put gently around the eyes. And uh, alternatively, you can always uh, use something like cotton balls. Uh, uh, you can soak them and you can always uh, put that thing across. Um, uh, I, with this, I believe this is, uh, this is going to help you over a period of time. This particular thing uh, which uh, has someone has every day morning he gets that swelling over the lower eyeball the eyelids and uh, the first and foremost thing is getting it checked whether you are hypertensive you are doing out that then you check your renal status is there any problem with your protein urea and all that then you can always follow my kind of big tax what which we try to work it out as a uh, simple way because we believe once we rule out that organic problems it can be something like atopy or some kind of uh, simple stuffs where you can always follow these procedures and uh, uh, see that you, uh, you things uh, things are corrected uh, thanks uh, and uh, you can always write me and uh, I'm available on the mails and all that and um, any kind of queries if you can uh, we, we can always work on uh, Q&A session also in some later date as such. Thank you. Signing off, Dr. Saxena again.